I recently made this built-in bookcase for a room in my house. Since this was a renovation, I used a lot of modern tools like a nail gun, multi-saw, track saw, etc. But all the molding and fluted columns I did with hand tools. That is, however, with the exception of the crown molding, which I purchased because I needed it to match the rest of the house. The fluted columns are made with a Stanley plow plane, and there's not much to it. You just have to make sure you position the fence so that the flutes come out even. And the trim moldings at the tops of the fluted columns were simple as well. I've made similar molding in my other videos, so I'll skip that. What I did want to show you today is how I made the dental molding. After I show you that, I'll go through the installation process quickly using pictures. It's not traditional woodworking, but this is a woodworking slash DIY channel, so I'll walk you through what I did. I'll pick up the narration again at the end, so please first have a look at how I made the dental molding.
So let me show you how I installed this. I started out making each of the three standards by sandwiching 30 millimeter by 40 millimeter stock between nine millimeter thick plywood. So each of the standard is basically hollow except for on the ends. After marking the installation location of each standard on the floor, I used a laser level to transfer the lines to the crown molding and proceeded to use a multi-saw to cut away the portions of the crown and base molding where the standards will touch the wall. I screwed in the corner standard to the wall studs and positioned the other two standards, holding them in place with a sacrificial board temporarily nailed to the front. I then slid in a piece of plywood over the tops between the standards and the ceiling and screwed that into the ceiling joists. L brackets were then used to attach each standard to the ceiling board and also the floor. Next I attached the dental molding. The dado I made on the top of the dental molding was where the crown molding was to fit, so I positioned the dental molding so the top lined up with the bottom of the crown molding. I then attached the crown molding. I coped the inner corners so they blend in with the original crown molding. I then attached the fluted columns to which I had already attached trim molding in the shop. After this was done, I was able to measure the length of the plinth block so that would extend from the bottom of the fluted columns to the floor. Then all I needed to do was fill in the nail holes with wood putty, sand, and paint. I painted the case and the shelves separately and then installed the shelves. All in all, I think it came out really well and I was very pleased. It's an easy project and it only took me about six hours to install and paint. It's a great weekend project. Just make sure you make all the molding, etc. in advance. Thanks for watching. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't already and hit the like button for me. I'd appreciate it. Thanks a lot.